Next to new fallout tonight from the sentencing of a Stanford star athlete convicted of a brutal sexual assault. That judge is now under fire tonight. Brock Turner ordered to serve just six months after his conviction on three felony counts. But anger has been growing since his victim wrote a searing public letter. ABC's Matt Gutman now on the judge, now being removed from presiding over a new sexual assault case. Tonight, the gavel closer to coming down on Judge Aaron Persky, who sentenced Stanford swimmer Bronk Turner to what became a three-month jail term for sexually assaulting an unconscious woman. In a damning reversal, Santa Clara County DA Jeff Rosen, who supported Persky last week, now saying, we lack confidence that Judge Persky can fairly participate in this upcoming hearing in which a male nurse sexually assaulted an anesthetized female patient. The DA called icing Persky a rare and carefully considered step. Public defender Gary Goodman called it a political step against Persky. And what is he like? Everyone is treated fairly. Um, he follows statute. With public outcry swelling, last week demonstrators delivered an internet petition demanding Persky's removal with nearly 1.3 million signatures, but no legal clout. However, another recall petition to legally remove him from office is already underway in Palo Alto. That petition requires 70,000 residents to oust Persky. David, it's extremely rare for a judge to be recalled. What's more common is what we're seeing now, that a judge will be bumped from a specific case, and I'm told the DA is prepared to do it again against Judge Persky. David.